am going to share the screen. That oh, yes, sir. is basically uh, you can say part of uh, this some Huawei uh, PPTs mm -hmm. I'm sharing. So, but I'm not going to discuss like any product that is from Huawei side. No, 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 understood. Hmm. Uh, so it is uh, visible to you? Yeah, yeah, it's visible. So mixed of PPTs, uh, kind of I have captured original PPTs well prepared from their mm -hmm. So I, I am sharing this one. Oh, okay. So this discussion, I will be sharing this all PPT with you as well. Sure, sir. Thank you so much. So before uh, proceeding, mm -hmm. I will request you, please let me know in terms of understanding, again, like a, a network point of view. Means don't, I'm not looking video, voice or data or mobility, simply network evolution or preparation in terms of OSI rules. Okay. So integration, not a specific, like only mobility or data or kind of thing. What is your understanding? From the application layer you're, talk, you're talking about, right? From Whatever network it and is. Means once I say, uh, like now earlier, look earlier it was it domain correct then mm -hmm. some domain created now a days we combined it domain plus telecom domain and we say here ict domain oh i'm not aware <laughs> I'm really not aware. Yes, sir. Like nowadays, because once everything cloud and all is happening, mm -hmm. so now we say this is in even in India we are saying this is ICT. ICT. Okay. Yeah. So ICT is basically mixed of IT industry and telecom industry. Earlier it both were different. It's two vertical, two different verticals. Okay. Because I remember once I started as my as an engineer as my career at that time we were saying okay oh, oh they are maintaining servers and applications. So this is their call, not our call. So they were fighting oh, okay. a company like that way. So two verticals, yeah, both were different teams and all. But nowadays, what is happening? IT and telecom, somehow everything is getting merged. Now we will discuss further how they are getting merged while we were discussing OSS, BSS, NMS. And you must heard of NFB and STN. Have you heard? STN, STN I have heard, but not STN, uh, NFB. SD. No, sir. Not heard. Okay, no issue. Not heard. Okay. So, Everything is now getting converged at one platform like a cloud. So that's why it's a combination of IT and telecom. So I'm looking in that perspective, your understanding, so that uh, entire discussion I will drive as per your understanding. No, sir, I have not heard about these things, uh, to be honest. No. So it is like totally new for me. Mm -hmm. Network point of view. Any network, like once we say network, what does mm -hmm. it mean? What does it From mean? network operation center, I can a uh, little bit, uh, I can talk about. I'm talking about infrastructure. Means infrastructure. Right From the data center point. Application. From Nothing, the data don't, center. No, no, no. Don't mention any data, data center, anything. Listen, no, no, don't do any labeling right now. Okay, okay. Let it be a one communication. For example, I need to reach, I'm sitting here right now. Mm -hmm. New Delhi, you are sitting in Japan, somewhere in a city. Mm -hmm. So once you close your eyes, what you thought like a network from here to there, how we will reach? How we are reaching? IP, IP, through IP. Again, this is logical, right? I am not talking at all about any logical. First, I mean, so basically it starts with computers, servers, mm -hmm. mainframe, so different devices. That That so is, a, I mean, that is allowing sharing of data. It's all our devices. Devices. Is our only connecting device, not the connecting. telecom infrastructure. Hmm. So how we will reach means as for understanding, you are the project manager for one customer, for example, to deliver a customer in New Delhi sitting for, uh, for example, entity is there, correct? ISP entity. Yeah, entity is there. Yeah. Yes, they, are, they have the office in Gurgaon. They are in uh, Haryana. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, New Delhi. They have some set of offices, one in Mumbai, uh, Mumbai one in, uh, in Gurgaon. So, connecting the office from entity Japan to entity Gurgaon, how physical connectivity is happening? LAN, I mean, local area network uh, or your PAN or your different uh, wide area network. Mm. That is, th this is one way of transmission. Okay. Then, uh, you have this other one uh, storage area network mm. sand mod uh, sand mm. so these are some these are uh, yeah yeah these are the okay things. and for uh, some some uh, there's one more uh, uh, what was that metropolitan metropolitan mm. also that is like uh, i mean earlier when we never when we had this uh, mm. land land only single connect there where you had metropolitan which was actually 
distributing all over mm. uh, i'm not sure whether i'm right or not so i'm i'm just yeah okay so what you define that is perfectly fine but mm-hmm. these are the these are the same terminology depends on the geographical distribution and volume we are defining this word mm-hmm. but in terms of infrastructure all are same nothing different oh okay mm-hmm. how that uh, we are proceeding uh, let me share with you one normal connectivity a voice call right now we are talking over mm-hmm. the phone for internet phone to your location how it is getting connected first so once we clear about this uh, basic basic physical connectivity look physical what connectivity our pc everything are the end user we mm-hmm. bother mm-hmm. about this because if your network highway is correct your traffic will reach right so here i am looking the traffic first we need to uh, understand the building of this highway physical connectivity yeah yes physical connectivity so if you are clear this portion then let it be any 2g 3g 4g okay Or let okay. it be data any streaming nowadays all like uh, streaming ip tv is like the netflix and all streaming getting from any across the globe connectivity mm-hmm. all mm-hmm. thought process are same only the difference on the application level and last terminating device that's it oh okay so let us understand mm-hmm. network point of view here you are talking from delhi for example from our laptop from my laptop i'm connecting some local service provider correct yes some local service provider just a notation let me use here let us assume where is the drone the pencil stamp so let us assume the screen is visible yeah yeah yes sir. this is my laptop mm-hmm. connecting via some local broadband service provider mm-hmm. service provider Mm-hmm. let it be local or let it be national level some ip cloud i connected mm-hmm. so here to here this is wireline wireline here yes. maybe on fiber maybe on copper and entering into service provider network so this portion generally we call last mile are you aware this word last mile you know so generally this is global word this is not means nothing only industry driven word every okay. the globe last mile means my connectivity till the boundary of isp any isp this is called last mile last mike mike mile mile my last mile m y m i l e oh a mile mile okay last yeah mile. last mile means last mile connectivity oh last mile connectivity end user connectivity to the boundary of service provider end user connectivity okay correct so once we entered this traffic is routed to the via service provider cloud from delhi to because since we need to reach to japan so first delhi is connected and routing this to mumbai routing to mumbai mm-hmm. why mumbai because delhi delhi doesn't have any direct connectivity to the submarine cable that is cable laying uh, fiber cable within sea mm-hmm. across the globe across the globe all the country connected with fiber optics that is called submarine cable led in uh, some in sea you aware of that under sea and all countries across the globe connected with submarine cables submarine submarine yeah. submarine yes. network yes yes submarine cables submarine cables yes so all country connected with submarine cables so that submarine cables have one landing point so in india we have total two landing points one in mumbai and another in chennai okay we okay go out from india go out from india anywhere across the globe either i will come out from chennai or either i will come out from mumbai mm-hmm. no other way okay so from delhi i will reach to mumbai mm-hmm. that is definitely via my fiber optics that is running in land fiber optics in land fiber and fiber okay correct that okay. is called nld national long distances 
fiber national long distance fiber okay yes this is again common word for example even in japan one within a island if any cable is running long distances like a one big city to another island or another city this is national long distance fiber inland uh, we hear in voip also the same thing right yes but here okay. voip is one uh, one services out uh -huh. of services running on in nld network correct so mumbai there is one gateway point that is called cls cls cable landing stations cable fiber optics cable landing station it is a central area somewhere in a coastal area coastal okay near mumbai like you must be aware of you know prava devi have you heard prava devi yeah 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 so this is cls for tata oh okay okay same way in chennai there is one another another uh, cls in chennai but major entry major entry from mumbai so once this cable you out from this cls station to the submarine cable this submarine cable is running from near sri lanka to bay of bengal till this myanmar going on via hong kong then reaching to japan after covering china and all this china sea so reaching to japan somewhere cls i don't know what, what is their cls station name is in japan must be tokyo or ah uh, maybe i don't know must be so, tokyo yeah. so this is japan and this portion this portion in india correct yellow portion is in india this portion mm -hmm. is submarine cable Mm -hmm. this is all under sea now coming to cls then cls to cls is connected to the local service provider in japan let us assume this is entity mm -hmm. or any other and then again last mile connectivity to your home this is your laptop or desktop and this is your last mile so here you are using either internet either voice any telephone call sip call or normal telephone calls normal cell phone calls mobility 2g 3g or 4g well, what is the term you use sip call sip sip voice voice call generally is a sip call sip sip call sip call okay what yeah. does it stand for sir sip stands for session initialization protocol basically this is ip call ip call yes session initialization protocol is the protocol that is controlling that is controlling voip call have you heard this voip uh, voip yes voip call Yes, so protocol on the, is, for uh, service desk. I have heard. Yes, so this is running with help of protocol SIP. Oh, why protocol? Ah, oh, yes, yes. So these are the services. So here, what I will say to you, at the last mile, you are using the services. Service one, service two, service three, service four, like that way. But ultimately, traffic. is running going through section 1 section 2 then coming on a section 3 section 3 it is a vc versa i mean it's a 360 yes. this is one way mm -hmm. it's called unidirectional unidirectional coming back this is bidirectional oh, it's like our uh, three three way handshake uh, how what we do Two way, two way, not three way. Oh, way. sorry, uh, two, way, two, two way, two way. Yes, yes, two way. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I'm talking about the TCP thing. Yes. Uh -huh. Either yes. way, either way, is a unidirectional. Japan to India is the unidirectional, and vice versa is directional. But once you club it, this mm -hmm. is directional. So one directional. Communication is mm -hmm. called bidirectional. Till now, I was looking. this basic understanding basic understanding not technology basic understanding of physical 
inventory connectivity of services from one location to another Other location let it be within a city let it be one city to another city or one country to another country or let it be via any some so first understanding we need to get in terms of connectivity physical uh, entry yeah. sir i have one question here yeah? okay mm -hmm. uh, the national long distance fiber what you told right mm -hmm. that is from Del delhi to mumbai mm -hmm. okay so that national long distance is like uh, it, it's it's everywhere right everywhere. it's like our everywhere this is universal uh, this word applicable mm -hmm. in every country if fiber is running from one state to another state this another is state yes okay okay sorry sorry yeah I'm just, asking. just like in uh, usa if you were mm -hmm. going from california side to new york side means western mm -hmm cost to western cost this is all inland fiber inland mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. this is nld fiber in usa no. same way for every country understood no no i just wanted to clear because national no, long distance please please yes 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 yeah. clarify because look what is my what i got from industry i will not say this is like a training i will say experience sharing what i got till now understood mm -hmm. so, my my recommendation is first you understand the physical connectivity Yes. You need to find out what protocols they are working upon the, in every section. Once you know the protocols, you will easily find out the supporting equipment. Yeah, yeah. Once you find the equipment, what application is running within that equipment? This is like a thing on fingertips. That's it. Mm -hmm. An application is it's a GUI nowadays, graphical user interface. User interface. So anybody can do the configuration and all. The configuration and all is a, not a, like a rocket science. Any because. It's a visualize. Visualization is there. So click, click, click. Things are happening. But mm -hmm. another of the calls at the back end, you must require the architecture understanding end to end. Correct. So one example I share with you for well, this physical connectivity. Is, I mm -hmm. hope a little bit you got it. What exactly? I oh yes, 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 sir. I mean, first, I mean, <laughs> this is the first time I'm actually understanding the entire mm -hmm. concept. I'm trying to uh, do a little mm -hmm. bit of diagram and see <clears throat> mm -hmm. how it works. Do you have any diagrams, sir? Like no. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Oh, okay. Diagram okay. complete setup. Look, diagram I will use. Uh, let me share with you one diagram. Later on, we will come on di on diagram. Right now, only for your references. Uh, no problem. No. Hold on, hold on. Let me share with you. It's so a one integrated diagram. So my first and um, first uh, understanding, like I what I shared right now, like mm -hmm. connectivity. You must focus on that. Don't compare with any services. No, 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 no. I'm not comparing. No, Haan. whatever you just told me for mm. this, I was just trying to do a little visualization yes, to see I'm like how how it you. connects. Yeah, yeah, just demonstrating you. So that was clear. I mean, what actually mm. you uh, mentioned is visible now. Ah, yeah, beautiful. For a few seconds, then we will discuss. This is in combination of 2G, 3G, 4G, data, video, TV, streaming, everything. Even SAN, data center, and what is running right now today is across the globe. This is the okay. Oh, yeah, okay. This is not uh, in a very detailed, but yes, architecture section wise, this is the detail end to end. Understood. So basically, what we will discuss. Uh, mm -hmm. Look, then we will this for what are the components written and what you understood for few seconds. Little, to be honest, it's like a little bit of Greek and Latin for me <laughs> with the I mean, naming naming mm -hmm. part, but mm -hmm. somehow I'm trying to visualize. The... Mm -hmm. Leave the word naming and all. That's why what I suggest, I shared with you, like from India to Japan, there are many terminologies and protocols. So right? Understood, understood. We don't mm -hmm. need to discuss terminology and protocols. Shucks and why. Visualize what is this section where? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That I'm trying to connect with what you just thought. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Yes, sir. We can go ahead. So here, in this slide, mm -hmm. if you visualize, first thumb rule is whatever network is correct. Nowadays we will not say any IT or telecom. Whatever network is categorized mm -hmm. into four sections: access, aggregation, core, and pop. POP point of presence or point of presence uh, or you can say pop is generally a data centers oh, data. from the data centers reaching to the end user you got this from the data center reaching to the end user end user 
surveys the integration architecture it is basically so oh, okay categorize into four way mm -hmm. connectivity application whatever is that is within the data center once come out from the data center building to the outside so this is your core network then mm -hmm. traveling core to the aggregation and aggregate mm -hmm. the access so now in a simple way understand i reached on airport mm -hmm. how i am reaching on the airport first i am coming out from my home mm -hmm. so you come out yes, yeah this is your mobile phone left hand side this mobile phones is your basically you understand this is your car you came out from your home on a cab mm -hmm. then you coming coming on the streets that is within your society where mm -hmm. you then coming out from that street to the main road of the city yeah so main road of the city this is my access portion main road city to the airport if i am coming then there is a big another highway kind of thing not like a national highway like a, but yes it's a big road but highway hi uh, yes highway yes so this is my aggregation then mm -hmm. out coming if i am going uh, crossing one city to another city mm -hmm. crossing one city like an airport in delhi i am coming from uh, haryana i need to first enter coming on a main highway state highway on haryana yes then main highway from haryana to the main main state uh, central highway like national highway nh i need to enter yes so this is my core so national highway is my core main state road is my aggregation and my home nearby street uh, streets are my access okay okay understood and then i am entering and reaching on the play, on my airport so this is airport is my data center so understood. here in this understanding services could be anything so this definition is neutral for voice for video for data even in a voice let it be a mobile phone let it be a landline call let it be a 2g call 3g call or 4g call all common understanding for this, this definition that is accessibility yes so first we need to understand so i was asking this this thing from you okay okay uh in a 2g 3g or 4g what is the basic difference where it is coming once you coming on a last mile access okay. side your mobile phone connectivity to the bts mm -hmm. this technology only changed in a 2g 3g or 4g rest technology is same nothing changed so let it be any generation in mobility in mobility once we say mobility means mobile phone calls mm -hmm. let it be any generation so only the major changes in technology at the last mile access side mm -hmm. mile connectivity Understood. Understood. Tower, tower to the data center connectivity. Yes, it changed, but not technology in terms of volume. Mm -hmm. So volume is in terms of bandwidth requirement because two G less bandwidth we required for transportation. Three G more bandwidth re required. Four G we required more, more and more bandwidth. Five G more and multiple folds of bandwidth. Okay. So, so you are so saying here? Mm. Uh, sorry, sorry. So uh, please, please continue, please. Yeah. So you're saying here, uh, there will be any generation in mobility. It depends on last last mile. But uh, from the tower to the data center, there is no change. It is uh, the changes happens only on the uh, technology part, right? Nine, you can say ninety percent. Ninety percent on the technology uh, part somehow. because because the volume increases due to yes. which the bandwidth areas and all that increases. So, so based on those minute changes happens there. Yes, handling of the volume, whatever extra precautionary and technology. Technology we required that we implementing. We are not implementing like okay, I need 5G, so I I, I want different technology, not like that. Ah uh, yes, that's right. That's uh, my volume increased, so I want the management who will handle this uh, big volume. So volume. So you can say the upgrading upgrading system. This is called upgrade. I mean, how yes. do we say like we do a patch? So we do a yes. change. We do a, a patch change and upgrading the new in, uh, new integration part or getting a new user interface. So so some some kind of changes how we do. Correct. Means the new protocols and efficient protocols are coming into the market in every after some time. But everyone is focusing how to handle big volume of data while transmitting. So major changes is they are not keeping. Like okay, this traffic is coming from 4G. This is coming from 5G, or this is coming from simple like uh, any broadband user. Nobody understood. This one. They are like, looking only carrying data from access section to the POP to the how efficiently we transport. So this is called transport 
but we are transporting simple concept aggregation and core they don't involve in too much processing because their work is collecting data and forwarding that's it so integration is like only uh, implementing new concepts on the existing area where with the uh, minor changes and wherever it is needed how uh, the frequency can be improved in different uh, what is a different volume correct understood correct. Uh, correct me if i'm wrong sorry <laughs> no 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 correct correct so no, i'm just trying to catch up with you yeah no no yes yes so access <clears throat> so remember this four word access aggregation core understood sir. access aggregation core hmm. and pop is data center pop yeah pop or point of presence Uh-huh. or this kind of data center you can correlate correlate okay so all the, all the processing accessibility mm-hmm. security application whatever it is running all are running on a access side only all will be handled processed on a access side only mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. beyond access so from, hmm. so from the i'm so sorry from mm-hmm. the uh, i don't want to get the infra here but still from the managed services like whatever we do messaging mm-hmm. collaboration storage your mm-hmm. uh, backup then mm-hmm. you have your wintel uh, all these things so that mm-hmm. is that comes under the accessing part right generation point is at access generation point is at yeah. storage okay. point is pop pop oh, okay so all the policy mm-hmm. of this will be pushed because now it's a cloud now it's a cloud so mm-hmm. all this policy implementation pushing will happening from pop side to the last mile to the last mm-hmm. mile. so actual implementation point or generation point is the access point understood so it is a reverse reverse model you're saying yes reverse okay because ultimately you will pushing some policy to till the mobile and bts what does it mean bts is a storing that data and data that because just now we discussed this is bidirectional mm mm-hmm. the data is coming from mobile side to the bts so depends on the current policies implemented by the application they are processing as per that understood so understood within aggregation and core what passing on we should not worry we are not looking up even okay only worry only worry aggregation and core is how efficiently you transfer the data without any downtime without any too much latency or adding some means efficiently without any downtime sending the data from access point to the pop mm-hmm. this is the management we are looking that's it understood so for maintaining all this what we take care so that we will discuss so whatever we discuss like a national uh, uh, long distance Fiber, long distance submarine yeah, yeah. cables mm-hmm. ild generally call ild cables and bandwidth all are part of aggregation and core I, ild cable is for submarine uh, cable right ild sub yes international list line ill ild ill international long distance leased line or long line long distances line so ill generally we say international yeah international leased lines leased lines understood for yes, example yes. for example uh, google and facebook mm-hmm. they don't buy bandwidth they buy directly mm-hmm. fiber directly submarine fibers because they want huge bandwidth mm-hmm. they are putting their own devices so that, that we will discuss later on so hope what i discuss the basic architecture and understanding that is clear to you yes sir wait how it is happening yes 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 that is clear sir now it is very clear whatever you thought uh, till now it is very clear mm-hmm. start uh, starting from the this one ict domain whatever you told mm. uh, the starting from the lo- uh, what do you say li- last mile or mm. uh, the wired thing uh, getting on the local service provider and how mm. it is taking it from on the nld mm. and from nld how it is connected to the submarine cable and in submarine uh, for india we have like two submarine uh, cables that is one in mumbai and chennai Mm. and and from there you you spoke about uh, the i uh, this one iil part mm. uh, where you told uh, we will have the cls mm. uh, through the cls uh, how do we actually connect to japan uh, with the day various submarine uh, how it is connected and mm. and there uh, from cls it will go to the lsp again on the mm. lsp uh, uh, in lsp it will take it from uh, transmit from any of the local service provider ntt softbank anything to reach mm. out to my to reach out to my home uh, via internet voice or sip call mm. internet right internet voice or sip call service could be anything service could be anything 
and here you told uh, on the sip call you told about the uh, wipe run so wipe run mm. is something uh, and uh, wipe runs on sip and there is a two way mm. handshake correct then uh, it is a one directional <coughs> it's not a bi directional mm. after that you spoke about the application in gui so mm. to understand the architecture where uh, you st- you spoke about, uh, then you gave me a idea on the complete uh, network implement- integration what uh, we are doing that is for the access aggregation core and uh, point of preference mm. so we need to understand what is our access uh, aggregation core and the pop or data center but uh, right now whatever technology we are working on that is in the reverse method because uh, your all your new, uh, new generation and mobility depends on the last mile so here you spoke about uh, like tower to dc handling of the volume then increasing the new uh, protocols so how how we are actually going to do that so that is one way of integration uh, which is called transport architecture right. then uh, then you told me about uh, generation is an access so and storage is, is at pop so that differentiation you explained mm-hmm. then uh, reverse model uh, that's it till, till here i'm done sir. so here in this case i will present this one last mile mm-hmm. in physical connectivity it could be wr wins war war uh, wireline mm-hmm. wl means wireless wireless okay it could it could be wireline or it could be wireless mm-hmm. it could be your cell phone or it could be your any uh, direct connectivity at your home for broadband for broadband okay it could be anything in the last mile that is from uh, 10 meter to the 1 kilometer 500 meter kind of thing on the cable mm-hmm. so last mile connectivity only two options you have either wireless or either wireline understood once coming from bts to the aggregation side so definitely it will be on the fiber optics yes nld if one city to another city if within the city even that is also a fiber within a city fiber. yeah one aggregation to the core that means within a country submarine yeah ill yeah within the country nld if crossing the country then submarine nld from nld to the submarine and vice versa vice versa and then finally moving to the data center data center understood processing the call but yes, lastly processing billing and everything performance everything managing is happening over here in a data center because application lies in data center okay so at what level do we look at the latency sir there is a calculation mm-hmm. uh, uh like i will share with you this is a, a little bit no 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 i just i'm asking on the mm-hmm. uh, fundamentals for that yes, later yes, you yes. can tell me and mm-hmm. here here in this i'm asking generally in a fiber there is a kilometer uh, there is a some calculation kilometer like a 10 kilometer we are getting less than 1 millisecond like 001 millisecond that way we are getting but while we are talking about 5g mm-hmm. 4g for any services we are not worried about latency and timing but yes in a 5g 50% focus is going on maintaining not 50% even i say 75% focus is going on controlling the latency issues and timing issues very minute we are working that we will discuss later on mm-hmm. so we are work, we are working in that way we will discuss on a 5g side yes timing is very much concern and especially mm-hmm. aggregation and core side so n- per kilometer fiber optics fiber optics adding the latency like i don't remember exact value like a point oh, zero no problem the so one second kind of thing they are adding after traveling every kilometer 0.01 second somehow but uh, exactly i don't remember i have some calculator i will share you right now no I, problem no problem i don't remember right now so per kilometer i mean the speed is like 0.01 second oh, it's like crazy yes even you can't understand in a 5g is saying within a one mm-hmm. kilometer if you, your signal is is reached and crossed more than 100 millisecond like it should mm-hmm. each in a 10 millisecond and if if it is reaching in 1 110 millisecond milli i'm talking about milli 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 yeah yeah, yeah. yes your signal will be lost your call will be lost in 5g mm-hmm. so that's why we will discuss in a 5g what the technological changes happen at the last mile and technology that portion we will discuss so first the, i'm focusing on the basic architecture of the connectivity infrastructure mm-hmm. let it be any service okay understood once you knows the pros and cons of the existing network you want, want to upload any new thing and if you are aware of your old thing permutation and combination like 
pros and cons then only mm-hmm. Able to correlate. Okay, here I was facing this issue. If I am going to upload new thing, what will be the impact? So what I the challenge I will face as a solution architect? What I need to plan? Understood. So that way we will be in. We will carry on this understanding. So this portion, hope little bit you got it. Physical connect. Oh yes, yes. Very much. Sir. I mean that uh, detail explanation. In fact, it is actually getting more interesting now. <laughs> now, uh, let me share it with you one example. Here, this one. you yeah 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 have a look this is 2g 3g and 4g 4g slash 5g connectivity so you have the access you have the aggregation you have the core here uh, pop i am not understanding here but uh, vts yeah. and rnc is pop oh those are pops okay so mm-hmm. yeah these are the exchange data centers basically wording could... but, the, but hmm. the, this is via cloud no 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 nothing cloud nothing cloud okay so cloud this is, is the cloud is your bts rnc look cloud nowadays cloud we say this is data center is cloud that's it data center is cloud okay yes simple as a layman language for data center is cloud yes data center is my cloud so your bts rnc this is a part of cloud data center mm-hmm. where my exchange will be there in data centers my exchange for handling calls you know exchange exchange yeah exchange it will be on pop na no, sir it on like ha, pop or data center mini data center big data central center different yeah. architectural data center definition is there so yes this is my cloud mm-hmm. earlier we were machine based hardware based more not on a uh, application side now application side move we moved on more complex of that we say it's a cloud that's it but logically it is the same what years back the architecture was only we are adding more and more management portion with help of software that's it but whatever application you will develop mm-hmm. you will still require hardware connectivity the same what that was running 30 years back or 20 years back <laughs> yes smart devices came up into picture but ultimately logically layman logic is the same it mm-hmm. never changes there is no change in the hardware concepts the only thing is the nothing nothing same nothing even, only even 30 even 30 years again after 20 years it will be the same mm-hmm. only thing uh, there is a improvement or uh, what do you say implementation of uh, new features yes protocols and features or, that's it protocols and features yes simply look whatever it is within india if you are going to make a transport highway what technology you can form only you can technology you can form in terms of making like material and all but ultimately widening the road and concrete making and ultimately you need to form a road transport is the same management on that road you can automate but road making is the same concept that was running 30 years back only management nowadays like yes automated barrier system automated <laughs> automated but physical infra is the same that was running 30 years back so everything automation or technology or protocol set of rules that are coming for the management only so here in the same way in a data telecom only the new set of application softwares protocols that is coming for the man- efficient management only because at that time management was more based on the hardware not the uh, like a software side but ultimately somebody will create a highway yeah so same highway creation is same like a fiber optics cable wireless connectivity servers first connected then talk about cloud the cloud is nothing as the data center so from here see 2g mm, this 2g this is tdms ta- uh, travel data ma uh, tdma time domain this is 3g wcdma or uh, wcdma yes yes this is 4g 4g slash 5g 4g is all ip 5g is also five all ip ip internet protocol so slash so nowadays uh, sorry could you, could, could you please show that first is 2g 3g your ip internet is 4g i ha uh, this is 4g slash 5g 4g oh okay 4g slash 5g 5g yes so only change will happen here not here oh okay okay this will be the same yes little bit tweaking that's it to maintain the latency like you asked timing and all to maintain mm-hmm. latency that's it rest 
no changes here why question is why no changes is here so almost uh, i will say uh, almost no changes i will not say no changes almost no changes because this section involves in only the transportation not the processing means let the truck truck is a carrier let a truck like a truck only don't make it like a car car is a luxury means too many functions so you involve your car with loading loading with too many functions so too many processing it is consuming more resources it is required truck is yeah. only load the load with some goods and transport it so this portion we say as a thumb rule across the globe don't over load this portion let it be like a transport only so no too much protocols no too much security let it be like a transport only moving forwarding 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 only without seeing any data what is running inside so that is within the aggregation and core area you are saying right yes till the bt till the data center till till the data center means you are including even the pop also there means entry point entry point entry point it means that that is like your aggregation and core and yes. uh, end of core it's like your last mile end of beginning core. yes yeah. once we enter here at this port till here transport but once we coming out from here all the processing security application checking spoofing hacking whatever you word you can use everything we are implementing over here who is coming inside so the secure uh, area should be for the core area only then uh, we only will not have any kind of entry hack. or exit entry or exit. entry or exit uh, because within the transit area look this is my transit area transit mm -hmm. it area nobody can enter the hacker until unless it intrudes in this system from outside he can't enter nobody can enter only he can enter somewhere here and here he will be means uh, unchecked and he enters he can't enter in this section this is the most secured area yes this is like a tunnel Coming. anybody can enter nobody can enter only entry or exit point so all hacking packets spoofing all attacks is happening only on the up access side application side uh, access or application side, side. application transit area nothing is there it's like a tunnel only entry point exit point this is my tunnel nobody can enter in my tunnel so we don't need to worry for this what is going inside so when when we uh, see when you are actually designing this particular diagram let's say uh, this mm. net this uh, telecom diagram okay mm. uh, what what if a hacker uh, makes a replica out of it and try to hack it you, so mm. you are saying only it will affect the entry and exit area but not the core and aggregate area right mm. correct oh okay okay because uh, when i was doing this ethical hacking so they told like if the hacker has uh, has this complete network diagram it is mm. easy for him to get into the metapreter and uh, and uh, take uh, the complete hold of uh, uh, the network so i was like little confused like how how that will happen but yes. i think this is this cleared this cleared actually look simple in a fiber optics mm -hmm. in a marine cable like i am going like a bank transaction is happening from soft bank japan to sitting in delhi mm -hmm. so, nobody can hack me once i out from mumbai cls and mm -hmm. cls in japan tokyo let us let us assume is a japan right uh, deepak i can we can have 5 minutes break 5 to 10 minutes yeah 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 no problem okay. is visible to you yeah yeah it's visible so what network we discussed till now as a infrastructure mm -hmm. that we required management on top of this management of that infrastructure 24 by 7 yes either um, manual or either fully automated sitting into network operation center or security operation center so ultimately we required some system who will monitor 24 by 7 at real time correct that's right so this requirement has standardized that is called tmn framework telecommunication management network telecommunication management network okay this is a standard global standard so as per this three categorization has been done mm -hmm. operating system that is kind of application mm -hmm. data communication network what we discuss 
before break mm -hmm. and uh, so only three things so os is kind of nms you know nms already network management system system network management system. so os is nms data center or customer so why we will discuss only three verticals to mm -hmm. complete a it system or complete a telecommunication system mm -hmm. services services that is running on the infrastructure that is called data communication network mm -hmm. maintaining the customer and data communication we required one ems ms that is called os operating system so this frame has been defined by tm and framework telecommunication management network this is global this is global standard okay so but this has been designed 30 40 years back oh, okay at that time software was almost no software limited 90% limited. is the hardware hardly 5% is software not even software some level and kind of thing you can assume 30, 40 years back. Okay. So nowadays, nowadays it has been categorized into this five layers because mm -hmm. moving towards cloud, we are moving towards software controlled environment. Mm -hmm. software hardware controlled by software so this had this three layers mm -hmm. one two and three this has been categorized into five layers okay okay See what are these words network element layer network element management layer work management layer service management layer service management business management layer Ultimately, whatever network we discuss from delhi to japan mm -hmm. and we form, we discuss the physical connectivity. We require somebody who will do the, this physical monitoring, performance, mm -hmm. configuration mm -hmm. on top of the security application, last mile application. So all this requires management in a cloud. Yes, that's right. Sitting in a data center. Mm -hmm. So ultimately network operation center is also kind of data center somewhere connected to the data center. Data center, that's right. So all this management point of view like a uh, you can say as a subject matter expert of telecom infrastructure mm -hmm. means that's why i'm saying right now don't level any data center service or kind of thing discuss a global architecture so as a subject matter expert of telecommunication infrastructure that is exact word is turnkey you heard turn turnkey. Uh, turnkey turnkey projects turnkey projects okay so turnkey means from creation to the handover as a product, like a one car has been designed, manufactured, checked, and sell out to the deliver to the end user. So mm -hmm. in the process that is handled or that is called turnkey project. So as a turn is it, is it like transition kind of thing? No, no, turn no, no. Okay. It's also part. Part. Transition is part. Means mm -hmm. as a whole and sole head of that product. Okay product design to the manufacturing to the quality to the manual and uh, training to the end user and finally hand over to the end user okay so this is journey is the trainer this journey is called turnkey Turn. okay so as it sme like somebody call you okay i want to automate my uh, 2g system knock into a 5g into a 5g knock so what exactly you will change as a sme so first you need to learn what is running what conversion you required as per the new protocols that you know so in between this transition, you need to plan. So we plan once we know the actual architectural as per the industry standard practices. So as per the industry, global industry, uh, industry standard are five layers. This TMN is global three layers that has been further defined by the industry. That is the five layers. And this is a mix of hardware. This is a mix of software. You say cloud. What does it mean cloud? Data center that is fine just now. Data center. But now let, let us def, uh, redefine this data, uh, cloud again cloud integration of software and hardware can we say that yes sir you analyze I, I i told you not like that you analyze based on your understanding okay okay i said this is a mix of in a data center yes mm -hmm. that is my first statement second statement is within the data center connectivity mm -hmm. by hardware hardware could be anything i'm not justifying again this is only server it could be router it could be switches it could be anything yeah. inventory connectivity on top of this physical inventory my softwares are running so mm -hmm. clubbing these two i say this is my cloud okay mm. but who is forming the cloud application where application will run in servers where your application will run in servers no data center i mean uh, your end uh, uh, pop 
not so, pop sorry uh, core core so let it be core what, whatever it is my concern is where you will install your servers somewhere in building no oh, somewhere in building no oh, sorry that is called maybe small data center or big set data center let it be <laughs> as a layman that is fine yeah yeah and where your application will install within the server within the server yeah how if more than more than 100 servers do you need the connectivity yes so ultimately you are forming one infrastructure physical infrastructure mm mm-hmm. if you are connecting your servers with help of different different media you are forming one infrastructure telecom infrastructure on top of this your application is running so once we clubbing this to this is my cloud so as a layman cloud means virtual world in a digital world and digital world we can form with help of application and that application is running on my hardware once i connect all my hardware with help of physical infrastructure so as a whole i will say my cloud infrastructure is ready did you got this yeah yeah so now coming back to this slide now correlate this one it is like your on premise or cloud services so earlier whatever we used to do on on premise why uh, setting up a data center where mm-hmm. uh, when, when you are setting up a data center with the different servers for again for those uh, i mean when you are installing it on the data center uh, all all those uh, servers again we need to put it on our system okay from where we we will be actually using it uh, with different media communication so that would be through your router switches ports so all those things are connected and mm. they but they are stored in one particular area which is our pop area a pop or data center area correct so that is the on premise but correct. now we have like uh, cloud services where for example i can talk about aws so aws mm. where we have like storage vpc ep uh, ec2 so there also it is like all the managed services are broken and it is on the cloud area but it is not a physical uh, physical uh, server it is a cloud uh, virtualization no 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 right last line is wrong let it be aws or azure microsoft whatever it is cloud mm-hmm. understand what is cloud cloud what i said the statement earlier cloud is the combination of my hardware plus software software this is my first blunt statement as a layman mm-hmm. combination of hardware plus software that is running on that software on that hardware physical premises cloud is always physical inventory look network is means we form the network with help of physical inventory only no physical inventory means nothing is available correct That's why from beginning i am talking about first talk about physical inventory cloud is physical inventory. inventory oh okay 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 let it be cloud is cloud is also physical inventory cloud is also physical inventory okay where your application will land if no inventory is there mm mm-hmm. means oh, okay. you form a aws different different components if no server no physical and inventory where they will install means ultimately I want to install my office ms office do i need laptop yes so that means do i need hardware inventory yes same way cloud i need hardware inventory first yeah hardware inventory okay okay understood yes so it is a yeah, okay combination of both hardware and software correct software that is running on that hardware so with help of with help of let me share with you one example aws and cloud and all like that way let us assume i have 10 factories in 10 cities of india mm-hmm. and i am producing simply uh, like a uh, like soap i'm i'm manufacturing soap mm-hmm. so this is fmcg product nothing to do with it yeah. even i am expert in expert in this manufacturing of soap i have all the resources but i don't want to put my own infrastructure for automation of my factories if i am going to install 10 pcs server for sales and all records do i need it guys no it engineer i need no no if anything my own server and my premises oh okay okay yes yes what are you doing yes yes so i need to hire i need to give yes. facilities they will ask yes. me sir i want to buy another server you give me the approval i don't want to enter in all this because i am expert in manufacturing of soap mm-hmm. i am ready to pay but i don't want to take a like a headache or oh, how i how i run my it department i don't want to establish is any it department at my premise mm-hmm. this is not my business you got the situation yeah but requirement is there it requirement is there but i don't want to establish any department i am ready to pay my finance guy will pay but i want service but i this service i don't want to create at my place i don't want to hire any it engineer or telecom engineer to establish my server and all i don't want to buy any server i need to do that my own i need no. to do that my own if mm. i have to maintain my five factories in a five different correct city. correct correct but i don't want to do that but i need the service because i need to automate 
document, I need to check my CCTV cameras, my financial uh, transactions, what is happening, like a uh, conference, VIP calls. All I want this services, but I don't want to establish any IT department. Hmm. So do you got this actual request in industry? <laughs> so what I will do, this type of company is spreading across anywhere everywhere this type of requirement across the globe is lying everywhere yes like a stock brokers like a stock broker correct the share market they say no i don't want to insert any server any server because any application otherwise after six months you will ask me okay i need to upgrade it my my link is down i need to buy the leased line i don't want to enter in this all this mm -hmm. i want it service you got the scenario understood no filling this requirement as a amazon aws i approached them them, I mm -hmm. tell create. I will create my own and I will lease some portion to you for this service. Correct. So application, security, storage, space, everything I will maintain because I am a, spe a specialist in this case. You are the factory mm -hmm. guy, you are a specialist in uh, shop manufacturing. You focus only on shop manufacturing, not on IT. So here, cloud main. So, the func so you, here the functional domains are different. Mm. Okay, so if, if you are uh, the factory owner, you, you will only look at the product area and whoever is the IT guy, they will mm. take care of what is required for the, I mean, they will go with the requirement and will, they will. I will not hire IT guys. I will not establish my IT department. I will buy Amazon AWS. Huh, I mean, okay, okay. But, but you need people to maintain it, right? No, little bit one or two, that is fine. Fine. Otherwise, I need oh. to keep everyone because I need to hire one person who will manage server. I need one software guy also who will manage one software. Guy. Yeah, all this is happening by maintained by AWS Amazon. Understood. So rather than 10 pieces of server, Amazon told, okay, I will collect, I will form a big data center and I will lease 1% to soap owner, 1% to a stock broker, 1% to any big farmer, like that way. And the backend hmm. maintain because I'm a specialist of IT. So this is AWS basically cloud. Mm -hmm. cloud I think 10 people were maintaining 10 data centers in 10 different company now they ask somebody enter into the picture they told okay you scrap all your 10 data centers in 10 companies I am forming one data center I will connect you all correct because this is not your core business so you will you you can't manage in a specialized way understood this is cloud so the statement was mixed of hardware and software this is cloud understood so first inventory is mandatory so as per this this five layer has been defined once you've connected, that means you need ultimately management. How you will manage such big infrastructure? So, based on application, based on, just now we have to discuss two things, hardware plus software combination as a cloud, correct? That's right. So, that means we need the process who can maintain hardware, we need the process who can maintain software. And apart this, we need one layer who will take the business to us from shop owner on uh, from this uh, stock broker. Yeah. That means business portion also I need to automate. That's right. Because now it is automation. Every process should be automated in a big operator because manually you can't maintain all this. So sure. this slide is just specifying whatever process is from business, from operation, from infrastructure, from software, everything is classified into five categories. So first layer, network element layer is your hardware level. You got the point? First layer is network element layer bottom yes pure hardware no software yes on top of this firmwares are running that this is pure physical inventory mm -hmm. physical inventory these are the hardware so cloud is running on top of network element layer so if no element layer no cloud so if anybody says you like okay no hardware no hardware for a smaller a smaller connectivity for their own factory but yes big hardware has been formed up in a data center only extend the last mile connectivity to the user but yes hardware is there network element layer so you got it understood have you heard what like uh, a word like uh, event managers who is controlling events like a big parties for millionaire or billionaire kind of thing or <clears throat> yeah party event manager what they do even event manager was not there one family can mm -hmm. manage their own own function all this they can manage yes but why not they are managing it's a big families if you talk about like a biz business tycoons on millionaires or billionaires they can do their own they have people but they are not doing why outsourcing to event manager or any corporate their function they are outsourcing to the event manager earlier it was a it was like uh, you have to contact individually to different parties like catering or arrange a place and all but now you contact the event manager they they get everything under a package it's like your mm. cloud mm. <laughs> 
so, so they give you a package with, uh, <coughs> they give you a complete package yes. with uh, all the end to end what is required and if mm. there is anything extra so you can actually uh, only pay even run time pay. if you want any extra they will provide you yeah. and you need to pay extra that is fine so same thing now you correlate shop owners and mm. aws or azure microsoft azure they are event managers yes yes they can provide the platform to the end user yes now you put it if then event manager can't have infrastructure let it be own or let it be let it be on a lease that is fine but ultimately they are providing end to end infrastructure end to end yeah so same thing here network element layer is your physical layer of the cloud now second layer Understood. yeah network element management layer mm-hmm. infrastructure having the categorization categorization based on uh, different types of infrastructure so what is the different type of infrastructure here it is written transmission access data what do you mean by transmission your transport part yes data is also transport data is also transport uh, you understand like this way mm-hmm. on a highway national mm-hmm. highway always it is mentioned for let us assume eight eight lane highways okay mm-hmm. every lane has mentioned some specification yeah or all lanes are same no it's di- it differs and every every lane has its own specification of a speed and a yes yes vehicles yes that's right why for management why it is happening uh, it depends on the different uh, vehicle size vehicle uh, what do you say velocity so for the smooth Then... transmission it uh, depends on the packet size or car size or vehicle size correct correct the same way in a transportation for the because management is also important so whatever infrastructure i develop on router switches uh, the servers we need to categorize mm. in lanes so transmission is my lane 1 access is right. my 2 data is my lane 3 three S- likewise different different services is my domain like my lane 5 lane lane 6 lane 7 hmm. understood why if i want to do some maintenance work on a transmission side my access and data should not be disturbed why i should disturb if my only transmission lane is disturbed due to any reason why i should disturb access and data so management we require that way yes so affect should not be propagated to everyone affect should be there only with that origination point this is the right statement so this ems second layer is a software layer but this layer is only helps in categorization of the infrastructure grouping grouping of infrastructure in a lane for the efficient management did you got my point Group, grouping of the sorry your Group, voice broke grouping of the traffic grouping of the infrastructure grouping of the infrastructure this is my type 1 this is my type 1 this is my type 2 this is my type 2 so in one mm. manner so that once i okay, type 1 i need to manage people should understand okay he is not talking about type 2 or type 3 so let us focus on type 1 devices only mm-hmm. type 1 means we can so, so, mm. So we can segregate as per our need and as per we can configure it. Uh, you you try to say that right? Correct. If my voice, I am selling my voice, voice data, voice to the customer, subscriber. Why mm-hmm. disturb my internet provider? Why I, for internet user? If mm-hmm. it goes wrong to the my voice setup, why mm-hmm. my internet data should be disturbed? Understood. What's my point? So as for the services, your infrastructure grouping should be done so that only that particular service or infrastructure uh, you involve with maintenance or rectification mm-hmm. got it so got this it. is my sec- second layer so second it is layer. making your task rather than maintaining let us assume 1000 equipment in a bottom layer bottom layer rather than maintaining 1000 at a time it is saying okay there are three categories three types of equipment we deployed so make it like a 300 500 and 200 Mm-hmm. So if I want to maintain only 200 type, why I should bother for 800? So my 800 should not be disturbed. Correct. So this, who is doing this categorization? This is layer two. Network, network element management layer. Look, what is my uh, what is I will uh, I will I have a request over here. It may possible you don't remember all this wording and terminology. That mm-hmm. might well no issue. No worry on this. But okay, once okay. this picture come in front of you, you should be logically clear. Okay, this has this layer, this has this functionality. Mm-hmm. Terminology is maybe you are regular, then it will be on your fingertips. Not regular, not mm-hmm. on your fingertips, but with your own words, 
you can define the logic if you understand the logic that's true, true. so that way you need to understand yeah, yeah. so layer 2 now you can define in your in your own language easily to anybody yeah. the customer in front of you sitting in front of you yeah I... maybe you not able to use network element management layer word but mm-hmm. yeah. and now what this functionality has so this functionality has uh, like i'd say uh, here we need to actually look at the grouping of the infrastructure which is very important as i may as per have, their types uh, as per as their per, own as types per the, uh, yeah yeah i wanted to say that mm-hmm. uh, grouping of infrastructure as per the type i may mm-hmm. have uh, different uh, type but i have some specific types which i want to use it under these element management layer uh, that is how i want to configure it so Correct. that is like one a, way like my 2G, 2G yeah, should 2G. be connected on EMS one. My 3G should be connected on EMS two. My EMS 4G two should be connected on IMS four. EMS. Correct. If anything Correct. goes wrong with 2G, why my EMS four should be disturbed? Yes, why yes. Traffic should be disturbed. Only I should work and rectify on a 2G only. So I like the statement what you actually told. Mm. Affect should not be propagated to everyone. It should be propagated within themselves. Yes. Right. This is what you told, right? Correct. Correct. And uh, correct. you told like we actually need to look at transmission. See, I already have ten ten devices which is uh, already working fine. So if I make one changes on particular device, it should not affect the other areas. I want only that particular uh, device to be focused and uh, interpreted. Group of same group But, of same same nature device. Only. Group of same nature device. Yes, mm. that's right. Nice. Thank you. Thank you so much. So this logic you need to develop in entire discussion. Rest wordings that is fine. If you remember, that is fine. Otherwise, no issue. So here, why we require this one for grouping of infrastructure for the ease of the management mm-hmm. of the management and other major point while designing as a subject matter expert end to end design or being in operation. while you handling fault so mm-hmm. should be aware of signal flow if you aware of signal flow then easily you can identify the faults you can diagnose the faults let us example i said ems 1 is my 2g traffic okay mm-hmm. somebody is sitting on top of nms third layer mm-hmm. if he is not aware my 2g traffic is coming via ems 1 that is separately and signal mm-hmm. flow not aware he might have <coughs> command on ems2 or ems3 as well mm. so that's why what will happen ultimately he will ask somebody he will diagnose so ultimately he will come to know once he enters into depth but he will lost some times in diagnosis that was not required on ems2 and ems3 okay so your sla you will be under pressure of maintaining the sla yes so that means signal flow if you should be aware of you need to check it transmission ems1 and nms this is the signal flow mm-hmm. your you have a limited time of your sla you are focusing your ecs sla window on analysis of effective area only affected area only did you remember reverse engineering reverse yeah 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 engineering process yeah. like if you if you don't know what is the problem so at least you remove the person which doesn't have problem so ems2 and ems3 doesn't have problem don't problem. Have, remove this what is the problem with ems1 not known no issue at least you know i need to check it out within the ems up and down only signal that is called signal flow root flow so that way we required on a layer 2 network element management layer now all this processes has been clubbed and binded with one application that is called nms network management system so whosoever people can't work directly on ems team engineers they are sitting into the nock since you worked on the nock you can now easily correlate people are working on nms mm-hmm. nms application the so question i was question expecting question over here mm-hmm. so i am working clubbing every ems in nms then why we are doing this segregation ultimately we are sing- uh, segregating over here no that is the dear type wise right that's the reason we are actually uh, se- segregating it can be different infra it, it is not one particular infra right so let's But say yeah. i have my I, because i have my one ems as 2g one ems as 3g one ems as 4g mm. so that will differ here so we have mm. to look at what, like uh, like your state uh, your important we have to look at the right area where it has got affected That's so i cannot see if if there is a issue uh, see let's say i have a monitoring issue 
which mm. particular device has gone down or which particular application is not working i will look at it because of this i am not going to uh, uh, touch base on the other because again i am uh, uh, breaching my sla by mm. wasting time correct. so this is what i felt correct correct but ultimately at layer 3 on nms you are clubbing all three yeah we are clubbing all three but we will get to see when you when we are definitely clubbing all, all three but mm. uh, if there is any monitor monit- i mean there is a alert that is going to tell me from which particular device it has come right it is yes. not going to say it is only one but yes ems because see it, ems is configured here as 1 2 3 okay when uh, when there is a alert on nms it will tell you definitely tell me that uh, the alert is from either ems 1 or 2 or 3 i mean uh, is it yes. right yes 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 if you will dress your alarm mm mm-hmm. I'm having the path that mm-hmm. path will indicate okay I'm associated with EMS one. Correct, correct. That's right. Yeah, but technically mm-hmm. EMS one, rather than EMS one two three, you can club single EMS also. That is possible. Earlier we were running like that way. Means okay. In, see this one in this slide. If you will talk about in a twenty thirty, mm-hmm. we were running like that way. Only one EMS for everybody. Oh, okay. But we the said, triggering part is a was a problem mm-hmm. earlier. now yes, it is so. e- now it is easy for us to see the bifurcation even equipment was not a smart not too many equipments were there but now too many equipments are getting in too great. many equipments yes yes volume of data is getting is high. in many folds so definitely is a big rather than handling big data up in a big volume categorize the data first in a database 1 database 2 database 3 correct correct so because while creating any ticket also let's say if i'm calling airtel or Reliance, mm-hmm. and I tell that I have a problem with my network. Mm-hmm. Uh, I the the first thing as a layman, if I'm calling customer care, they will only ask me like, since when are you facing which location mm-hmm. you are into, or if I'm calling from the technical side, they will definitely ask ask me which particular uh, area I mean has got affected. Is it your right. access? Is is it your uh, what do you say aggregation? Is mm-hmm. it your core or is it your data center? Now mm-hmm. again, if it is a data center, they might ask me like, like you said about the BTS thing and all. I mean the uh, the the slide what you actually explained <coughs> from the data center which application has got affected and what yeah. is the what is the error message. So, so example, we need to understand that. For example, let us assume somebody took. Uh, Uh, Netflix services from Vodafone. Mm-hmm. Right? They don't using any mobility mobile phone and all. Simply one connectivity extended from near by last mile Vodafone mm-hmm. the near by subscriber. That's Now right. placing a call to the customer care and calling. Okay, my Netflix is not working. And their categorization is only the Netflix using. That means data is using. Video streaming is using. IPTV. So that means the EMS that is associated with IPTV or streaming. That portion only we need to check it out. Correct. Not the mobile tower and all BTS and all. Correct. 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 So that's so a strategy as a subject matter expert. Sitting any company or client like somebody like a, as a automation company um, is sending to any OEM or any ISP, we should our approach should be like that. Okay, what is running? Let me know first. So you correlate all the data. Now you can tell them. Okay, now go, make the grouping like that way. If it's sent way, now you can do implement this management this type of this. Generally, we are doing as a consultant. We are going to, for example, uh, I will share like a Nokia and Ericsson. You know. They are the yes. managed services company. Yeah. Uh, nowadays, uh, Ericent is also and Accenture is also. Even Accenture enters later on. They are um, in a managed service domain. Major is Nokia and Ericsson. Correct. So mm-hmm. they don't have infrastructure. Own. Inf- they are not ISP. They are not providing any telecom services. They are only maintaining the telecom services for other ISPs company. So mm-hmm. there, if you are going from Nokia, uh, uh, means as a payroll from Nokia as a as an employee of Nokia or Ericsson to any entity or kind of any Airtel or Tata. Okay, I am here to uh, audit your network. I mean, you should be categorized, group, make the categorization like that way because this is industry global. Yes. 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 Actually, cloud. Just now we discuss hardware plus software. So ultimately, hardware plus software is designed like within five layers. So you got the point. So NMS is your central office, central knock. Now, SMS. service management layer so till the fourth layer till the fourth layer all network customer management means network management not the operation 
infrastructure management, not the operation. SMS is operation. SMS is basically OSS and BSS. Have you heard OSS and BSS? No, sir. No, sir. I mean, recently I just got to... Okay. So what is happening? 15, 20 years back, every mm-hmm. person was in the field. When sitting, knock, knock was in a very small piece of thing where like a knock means 90% infrastructure is outside. People were outside, field engineers. 10% into the knock because very less connectivity management point of view. But since... Software is growing day by day. Equipments are getting a smarter day by day. A smarter means more application in the hardware. So more work in a knock, less people in field because everything means you are doing automation. Automation means more feature that was into the field. Now you are able to do sitting at central point, you are able to diagnose. So here fourth layer is OSS layer. So what sitting onto the NMS, so runtime operation maintenance, Report, analytics, look, report, analytics, like management is coming to you, okay, give me the SLA of particular customer. Who will give you? That means you need data. You need data, like management come to you and they ask, okay, do the billing for annual billing for just example, entity, even entity has given uh, one data service to SoftBank, correct? Between India to Japan. Yeah. Now annual billing is happening. One year is completed. Billing is going to generate so billing will generate happening on the basis of SLA? That's right. You aware of SLA? I don't need to explain. Yes, yes. So based on SLA, how SLA will come to know? How you will get the SLA? That means you need one year data? Yeah. How much uptime? How much downtime? Downtime, yeah. How much errors? Sometimes it is not down, do- but yeah. I'm getting yeah. error. My quality is degraded. Okay. False alerts based on the false alerts, duplications. So who is maintaining all this data? From where this data will come? All this data, who is the owner of this data? First, origination, who is the originator? First question. Second question, who is storing all this data for one year? Then third question, who is putting this analytics on this? You got my question? Understood. So let us come on first question. Who is the originator of this data? Originator of this data is your, sorry? Uptime data. Uptime data, yes. Yes. Who is the originator? Uptime data originator is from your, uh, what do you say, data center. No. Network. Data center is the one point. One one point, okay. But network network is. Yes. Once we say uptime is, we are talking about end to end, not the transit one point or two point. Okay, okay, okay. SLA means end to end. SLA is end to end, yes. Not a particular section. The no. end point means end to end connectivity. Yes. And always talk about first. First talking is hardware. Second is software. So that means first we require hardware. That is my network element layer. Yes. Because ultimately software is running on network element layer. So my basic is my hardware first. All which no hardware means no software. No software. Yeah. Yeah, software will come on later on. First hardware should come. Ultimately, train will come once platform is there, track is there. Correct, correct, correct. Then only train will come. Yes. So train is your software. First track and platform we required, that is your hardware. So originator is hardware end to end. Yes. Whatsoever component during transit, entire journey, whatever hardware is connected, all are the originator. So you got the origination point? Yes, sir. Hardware lies, network element layer. Network element layer. So this is your originator. So you know the originator? Yes. Hardware is the originator, not the software. Not the software, yeah. Yes. Now coming to the next layer. Second, network element management layer. This journey data, right or wrong, or any event happening on a hardware during journey mm-hmm. at any section that is captured by EMS. EMS is a software. Why software required? Like event generated in a hardware. So as mm-hmm. a Event as a data, I should capture and store in a database. So EMS is nothing right. kind of database administrator, automated administrator who is capturing entire journey data. Let it be right or wrong, doesn't matter. It is a storing, a storing, a storing continuously 24 by 7. Till now, equipment is live. Hardware is powered on. So who is the collector of data? Network element management layer. Yes, this is the collector of data. And this is a kind of software. This is a kind of Software. Software. Yes, EMS is an application. Till now it is clear? Yes, sir. Now, EMS 1, EMS 2, EMS. All this data has been transferred to the NMS in a three different tables. Table 1, Table 2, Table 3. Table 3, yeah. All are associated with one NMS 
software. NMS is itself a software. Mm -hmm. Yes, running on some hardware, running on some server, that's fine. Because just now we discussed hardware, don't talk about software. Hardware is must for running the software. So NMS is an application. So administ NMS is the administrator, administrator of layer one and layer two. Honor, grandmaster for layer one and layer two. So you know the role of NMS now? Yes. Yes, sir. Grand master. Okay. One and two. Yeah. So that means NMS has the functionality to maintain and automate runtime, all this infrastructure is the main functionality, capturing the data 24 yes. by if I involve NMS in too much processing, like, okay, give me the SLA. I have millions of record. Let us assume I have billions of record because every second it is generating every second means thousand one million records are getting generated in a big generated. network. So in a one year, how many network, how many data will be generated? You can assume that multiple folds. So that means kind of big, big volume of data. So if I involve, give me the uptime for one year, one year for the software. Mm -hmm from Delhi to Mum uh, Delhi to Japan, what will happen? NMS will start looking it's because NMS is the holder of data. It has the data. So he will involve his some processing into finding the data and getting the analytics. What do you mean analytics means finding the trend? How much time was the uptime? So that means we are forcing NMS to find out the analytics on the data which you stored. Did you got this line? On the SMS, on the NMS you're saying, right? Huh. Yeah, yeah. NMS is the administrator, master of the data. Master of the data, and it will pull all the data from your, uh, 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 this one. Actual uh, inventory. Actual inventory. That is your, uh, from from all the EMS and all. Layer every one and layer, layer two. <laughs> Even layer two, EM yes. EMS is not the originator. EMS is only collector. Collector, EMS is only yes. the collector because yeah. we have but done the we have done the grouping. Correct, correct, correct. So uh, after we have done the grouping, no, actually your voice is a little breaking in between. I don't know why. Oh uh, yeah, NMS, NMS mm. is actually uh, very important thing. What you told us, uh, yeah, master of the so, data. Mas uh, NMS is a master of data, and it will uh, it will have information when you pull the analytics reporting anything that comes from your. Uh, layer one and layer two look look no no little bit correction over here mm -hmm. first line is nms is the master of data this is fine yeah if you have information and i will ask you give me some analytics mm -hmm. decision of particular data correct means you will start remembering like a human so you will start remembering processing your brain it starts processing in your brain yes same way nms will do nms will pull all the information uh, related to your requirement so that means it involves in processing yes it, it you're definitely involves in processing that means you are overloading your nms yes so now see the statement nms work to collect and store all the runtime events of actual network in the database. This is the NMS job. NMS, uh, NMS job functionality. Uh, could you please repeat NMS the functionalities are mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. collect whatever event is happening on infrastructure. Okay. In layer one and layer two. Please understand this line. Yeah, yeah. NMS, uh, NMS functionalities are to collect whatever elements are happening in the infrastructure uh, event, in the layer one and event layer event oh. could be anything even downtime even uptime even fault even degradation anything attack intrusion intrusion penetration mm -hmm. outside inside anything happening in your network in your domain that should be captured and keep in database by nms 24 by 7 at runtime with time stamping. This is NMS job. Correct. Who is providing you alarm? NMS. NMS is providing you alarm. With root, with path, with time stamping, with severity level. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Now I think I'm getting into it. Okay, okay, got it. Uh, uh, actually, Correct. trying to relate it to somewhere. Uh, yes, yeah, yes. Got it. Now Splunk got it. dashboard. Actually, I'm relating it to Splunk dashboard. Yes, Splunk dashboard. Uh, Splunk dashboard runs in the same way, where you have the LM, LM, LMS alerts. We used to work yes. on this. And like on the downtime, Oh, okay. No, actually I got it. The NMS alerts, what we used to get, we used to look at the trend analysis of uh, how many alerts we have got and uh, which was the first, first alert and how many, uh, why, why did the alert has come and uh, is there any specific reason and we used to do a complete RCA on that. Mm. Okay, no, I think I'm getting on it. <laughs> so here one recommendation is let NMS mm -hmm. do their job only 
like uh, capturing the data and storing the data. Don't push the NMS to involve in too much processing or decision making. Okay. Means let the NMS work like a manager. Don't make him like a CTO or general manager. Mm -hmm. You got this statement? As a no, don't too what, much of processing is not required. We require, but don't force NMS to do don't that. Don't force, because their, yeah. Because their job means he has the capability. NMS because mm -hmm. every information NMS is holding, correct? Every Understood. NMS is holding. So he is the master. Everybody needs his permission for the data. Mm -hmm. It is recommended general practice. Don't push NMS in too much thinking. What will happen? Thinking processing means thinking. Once you say processing means thinking as a human language. Correct, correct. So who will do this thinking then? So we created fourth layer that is called OSS and BSS. So basically report generation, automation, SLA, SLA, report, mm -hmm. manage want any reports on a fingertips within a few seconds, give me this report. Within a few minutes, 10 minutes, give me this report. So we create another layer of application. Who is asking the data access from NMS? Give me the access of that data. Processing is happening on the fourth layer and they are representing the report. So your SLA report of South Bank will be generated on a fourth layer. Processing mm -hmm. will end on a fourth layer. But yes, they will fetch the data from layer three because NMS is the owner of the data. But tell me, what is the difference between these... Uh this sms and nms because nms is doing the major task here only thing you are saying you don't force it to give uh, i mean don't force it but sms might give you uh, here you, here we can force mm -hmm. so what what major difference major difference is like once you have millions billions of record in your database and mm -hmm. in every server nms is a server correct nms but is a server hardware first on top of this application is running so correct hardware has some processing power every hardware like a desktop or laptop cpu processing power yes yes so you are executing the command for the decision making that means you're consuming your cpu process but it, it will have to still pass through the nms to reach out to that area na, sir which area? I mean, see, NMS is a server. Okay, when I'm trying to uh -huh. pull the SMS, I mean, mm -hmm. trying to pull the report, it mm -hmm. has to pass through NMS, right? It has to pass through NMS to reach the SMS, right? Yes, pass through. Miss NMS is holding the records, lying the records. I'm not reading the records. I have okay. which record is lying where. I have this record. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I confused you because I'm just no, trying no, no. to understand. Please ask me. No, no, please, please, yeah. please, no show. Sure. See, sir. CI uh, because NML play NMLS plays the major role. Okay, here. Correct. So only thing only thing is like uh, you're saying. Okay, uh, it is a server which is actually handling both uh, L1 and L2, and it is right. already holding a lot of record and it is doing a lot of processing, but mm -hmm. we don't want to push it. Okay. Uh, too many so, processing. Too many processing. So mm -hmm. uh, I'm just asking. Let's say if I'm trying to pull a data from NMS. Uh, is mm -hmm. is it not possible? Why do we need to have a separate SMS layer? Yes. What what major difference will, is it making? Again, it is trying to pull it from the NMS only to give you the data, right? Yes, that is fine. Yes, correctly understood. Ultimately, I am pushing the data, getting the data from NMS only. Mm. Honor is NMS of entire system. Mm. So let us assume SMS fourth layer is not there. Mm. So if I will execute the command for SLA, Mm -hmm. So NMS will enters into lookup into database. Correct. He starts finding, he starts finding in a billions of records that particular one lakh data. Let us assume one picture out of one yeah. record. He wants, uh, he wants one million data, uh, one million records. So he will find out in one billion table, create a one virtual table where they will place in a temporary data and then execute the analytics. That's right. So where it is happening? actual location of this functionality where it understood. is understood understood so it this is, is this is separately i mean designed in such a way so mm -hmm. that you pull all your uh, let's say your governance report mm -hmm. all all those things you can get it from sms because this is this has a millions of layer and the uh, every uh, every information cannot be retrieved easily for that, you are actually doing a separate service management layer analysis. Oh, sorry, you are using service management layer to pull mm -hmm. the records to see what mm -hmm. can be done, what mm -hmm. has gone wrong, and I mean your all your management requirement gathering is done. So understood. NMS has functionalities 
to transfer the database to NMS only for the time being, virtually, not permanent, virtually. Mm -hmm. So it involves in sharing the data only. Understood. And all the analytics is forwarded to the SMS server. Mm -hmm. So that means rather rather than entering into the second function, first function is sharing the data. First is then, sharing the data. Uh, second function is putting the analytics on the shared data. That I Understood. was putting my mind, okay, how to manage, how to find out. I transferred, okay, you do this. I transferred the data to you. Understood. So I save my NMS server processes to involve in analytics. Got it. Is Got the it. Benefit, benefit of this. Got it. Yeah, benefit Understood. of is my NMS will not tired like a general name and language. He will be refreshing. He will be doing only the specialized work. Yes, yes. Understood. Same like AWS. You do work. Same like AWS. Uh, even, do... even, even if you take uh, Splunk dashboard, when we actually uh, uh, see all the uh, alerts on Splunk dashboard, we, mm. in fact, uh, it is integrated to a ticketing model. So right. the same thing is actually getting captured on the ticket model. But uh, there, what we do, we, may, we do the ana analysis by updating tickets, by uh, giving all the details, what actually went wrong. But mm -hmm. here in uh, but here in Splunk, we only get the server alert, event logs. We only get mm -hmm. the event logs. Mm -hmm. uh, so in that way, can we? So in so SMS is helping me to pull the report, pull the look at the analytics, look uh, to understand what is what actually happened. So can, can we can we actually map it in such a way? Yes, reporting we are forwarding. Reporting we are forwarding to look. Report means what? Analytics. Analytics, yes. So we are putting analytics on a separate layer. That's it. You can do Sorry. it also. <laughs> Sorry if it is anything stupid question. No, 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 no. That is fine. If you understood this signal flow, you can handle anything. No issue. I'm just trying to. Okay. No, everything is look, what everything is a signal flow. If you know this yeah, signal, yeah. and who is the originator and who is the owner. This differentiation, you know, let it be hardware, let it be application. You yeah, can yeah. it's not able to define exact word terminology, mm -hmm. but to define the logic. Understood. Understood. So NMS is your operation level, yes. Got it, sir. Yes, sir. On top of this, BMS business management layer, like order booking, feasibility, customer billing related to finance. Why this data should be directly connected to the NMS? NMS doesn't have to do anything with a BMS. Correct. BMS mm -hmm. is billing is happening on the report. Mm -hmm. SLA report. Billing will happen this correct so i need this report to be attached with bms to generate my billing billing is bms is basically sales guys and my finance guys Understood. this automation is done completely let it be 2g 3g 4g or even my normal data mm -hmm. and this is, i will say any service across the globe okay. okay so this is any technology satellite wireless radios fiber copper anything all will be happening like that but this is global and a standard word is TMN framework. This is called TMN, TMN framework. Yes, this is TMN. ITU, ITUT, you heard ITUT? A standard ITUT. ITUT, no. International Telecommunication. There is a global body who is defining the standards in telecommunication. ITU. I think I heard about this in TTSL. TTSL, yes. TTSL, Tata Tele Service Limited. Yes, so ITUT is the international body. Yeah, okay, okay. This ITUT. is nothing related to any country or company. Oh, okay, okay. They are the global master who is defining the standards for the globe. International telecommunication. Uh, telecommunication, uh, ITUT, such what is the international telecommunication union, something like that. Okay, okay. You search on this. Uh, Google. Mm -hmm. So they are the international body. Okay, okay. Otherwise, what will happen? I, as a geo, I will run my own standard. As a Airtel, I will run my own standard. They will not do the handshake. So that's, mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Got it. Sir. International telecommunication unit. Union. Mm -hmm. Union. So this is... Mm -hmm. Autonomous body, nothing related to country, nothing mm -hmm. related to any political or any business. Oh, okay, okay. Only global standards. Okay, okay. So it is like a telecom standards. All the telecom standards comes from there. Got they it. Defined okay. further. They have defined 30, 40 years back. This is the framework, means basic frameworks. This basic frameworks has been categorized in, although this is okay. defined by you, Huawei, Huawei I manager U2000 is uh, NMS. But here you can say this is S-Plan. So only names will be changed. If any Nokia, names. Nokia NMS will come. If any mm -hmm. Siena will come, then Siena equipment will come. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you got this one? <coughs> yes, sir. I got this one. 
anyways anyways i'll again go through it i'll do a little bit of reading okay okay thank you so much sir thank you thank so you, much thank you thank you thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe to our channel